Now today will be our first test of some of the new camera mounts we made. We always have the one on the helmet of course, but today we have a rear mounted camera and a front mounted camera at the same time. So this might be a very interesting day. You never know, every day is an adventure. And if you know where you're going, really not much of an adventure. And we never know where we're going. Every morning when we get up, Karen and I take a little, we call it the perp walk in her garden, her herb garden, her tomato garden. I think she's growing some marijuana back here, but I'm not sure where it is. A lot of the stuff's starting to bloom. We always love to share the, uh, the pictures of our ongoing adventure. An adventure in, in our cameras, an adventure in flowers, an adventure in who knows what. See, the problem is you never know what's happening. We turn around and all of a sudden there's a bunch of pink roses one morning. All of a sudden you turn around and there's something else really nice. All of a sudden, hey, some stuff's coming up here from last year. The tree we bought in South Carolina to honor our friend, our late friend Art, is growing beautifully. Wow. Wow. And of course, Karen's pride, her roses. Look at that big one in the back. Now, one little thing. <clears throat> Humor me, because it's really early in the morning here. I haven't even had my coffee yet. This is the kind of thing, when you have a garden, it's always a nice thing. We have these three rose bushes. One is blooming, and one had a baby. We got a baby rose bush that took all by itself. It's seeded, <laughs> or else somebody planted it. Some munchkin planted it, but puts me in a good mood. I'm going to have my coffee, and we're headed out of here and see what the great adventure of today holds. Boy, look at these roads. Just beautiful. What a day we're having. We are really having a day. This is Glenn's next purchase. Glenn, I know, get out your checkbook. It's lucky that you got that, that lottery ticket that you won't share with me, but uh, looks nice. Now look, the guy bought a brand new BSA. <laughs> they told him it was brand new. It isn't, then he told him he didn't. Oh my God. Let me say, that's a nice shirt. I don't have a BSA shirt. This is a moto, whatever you want. Yeah, I like the Norton shirts, but I can't afford them. You know, that's yeah. eight, okay. 10 bucks. Yeah, right. I always go for the. This, this is probably only look at look at what I go for. Check it out. <laughs> and half the time I ride, I get to Luciano's and I got a Yamaha shirt and I'm riding a Ducati, or Ducati shirt and I'm riding a, a BSA or something. Listen, did you ever see Glenn? Did he give you that? What's the that? The book. The bolt. The book. Did no, I didn't see Glenn yet. He's he's. He didn't I, give you the book. They're going to track did day you tomorrow. See the trailer, uh, Oh, I heard he got a trailer. They're going to track day. That was Reno's trail. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. His bike came out great. Okay, so so here's the thing. So, Pete had some parts painted by uh, Pete. The, this guy's your friend or just no, a no, business I, acquaintance? No, no, I went to Pearl River because the guy. Pearl River, okay. The guy said to go there and, and uh, they'll match the paint up. And he's, but they he, didn't. She this says, is your bike here that he's. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I'm doing the job. The, you're doing it. I, this was the good one. Who knew you were such a, a custom? I'm a custom painter. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have to work anymore. I just send everybody to you. Well, anyway. How are your prices compared to mine? This is the bag that's done. I would have to match that bag. 
Okay. See, I bought black ones. And you want to paint them red? Just one. And these they, two are separate. These are another. Okay, but did they come out okay? Or one is one is is original. I I got the other one. It's so close. It's did he sell you the bulldog to put on the plastic first? You should have the red one. No. He, he because said, if you he, paint plastic, most of the time it'll just peel here's right what off. He said to do. Okay. It'll he do said, a Benelli on said, you. He uh, said he added the paint to the it's to the Max can, can, right? And he okay. said it was enough. It was a tall can. No, yeah, I, yeah. He said, sand it all down, make it all smooth, you know, get all the, wipe it clean. Yeah. pre clean yeah. it, you know. Yeah. And then spray a lot of layers on, light layers. Light, thin coats, right. Okay. You can get Glenn to come up and help you. Glenn's uh, the new, our, really? he's our distributor on New York State. Build, for, build uh, it up, build it up, and then while it's still tacky, put the clear on. He said, don't let yes. it dry, yes. or else it won't stick. He's going to go for a coffee, right? Now, well, some of these Mexicans, I don't use that kind of paint, but I know you can get a pretty nice this, job. This is a... This is a, you should see the shine on this thing. Yeah, well, I'll see it's, it. Very, acrylic, when are you going to bring it up it's here? It's acrylic lacquer. Okay. Is that what you use? Acrylic? No, no, no. It's all urethane. But you can make that work. You just got to get the routine going. So here's, so here's the story today. Tell Luciano why you are not going to buy a new tire. This, look at the tire this guy. It's this, only worn on one side. Who, who, it's only worn on one side. It's not going to make left hand turns. This, this guy is so good at turning. Which, oh yeah, it, one side's worn out and one side isn't. Is that the most unique tire? Wow. <laughs> so you, you will go like to a NASCAR track and only turn to the left? Holy mackerel, that's unbelievable. I never saw a tire wear like that in my life. I haven't either. Wow, I've changed a I lot of tires. Notice it. My buddy noticed it. He says, what do you do, only make right turns? It's not, a back one's okay. I just put that on. Boy, you never know when you're going to see a, something that, from outer space. Here. <laughs> the tire is only worn on one side. If I didn't know better, I would think that you, you did that on purpose or something. Like, <laughs> like to get my sympathy vote. Anyway, we're shooting with two cameras today. We got the Silver Ghost out here. The Silver Ghost was here before. But uh, we get, well, I hope we got some footage we can edit down of the Silver Yamaha anyway. Wow, that's, that's a unique tire. I wonder if anybody in my circle of friends has ever worn out a tire on one side, but not sure the other. Just mention the fact that the last two tanks of gas, one was 90.3 and the other one was 90.8. Yeah, well, 90 miles to the gallon is easy if you push the bike. So, so far we've been able to get footage with our rear mount camera, side mount camera. It's just, look what a day this has turned out to be. Wow, I can't believe it.
Well, for our first day of testing, and I guess I would count this as uh, relatively successful, we were shooting footage today with two cameras. We haven't looked at the footage yet, of course, but that seems like that would be, uh, this is our first day, more to come. Pretty much all of the motorcycles now have multiple camera settings. It's gonna give us a lot of, a lot of choices when it comes to uh, the summer group rides that are coming up very soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.